How to upload products via template on Seller Central. My name is Sydney Harries with my Amazon Guy, and today I'll be walking you through the process of uploading your products um, using a template upload. First, you're gonna go ahead and log on to sellercentral.com or sellercentral.amazon.com. Once here, underneath the inventory tab, click on add products via upload. This should bring you to this page. Go ahead and click on the tab, download an inventory file and scroll down. It says step one, select the types of products you want to sell. So for example, let's say that we're doing arts, crafts and sewing, then crafting, candle making, and kits. You go ahead and click select, and this is a summary of your selected products. You're able to select more than one if you'd like. But in this case, we're just gonna go ahead and use the kits type. So then you would go ahead and generate the template go ahead and click this button and an Excel file should download, looking something along the lines of this. Then you would go ahead and you can read the instructions, um, this images, examples, um, data definitions, templates, um, browse I, data and val valid values. So you're gonna go ahead and fill out the template, fill in the information that they're requiring. You can look at the valid values to know what is um, valid or what is not. So in the template, you go ahead and put your product type, um, your seller SKU, your brand, your product ID, your product ID type, title, manufacturer, etc. And then once you have that, you go ahead and save that and you return back to this page underneath the inventory add products via upload. Then you would go ahead and upload your inventory file. In this case, you would select the file type. So this would be, um, it says inventory files for specific categories. There's a standard book loading file, music loader file, video. So you would go ahead and pick which one works for your category. Then you would choose the file, upload it. And then if you would like an email alert um, to know when your upload is complete, then you would go ahead and enter in your email and then click upload. And then once you've uploaded that, you can look at the monitor upload status tab and this will give you the date and time of the upload, the batch ID, as well as the status. And it will also let you download your processing report. So in this case, we'll download this. And this is just an example. And it will show you um, what ASINs were uploaded if you click on template, if it was successful or not, what the SKUs were, the product IDs, the ASIN, and the product name or any other changes that you made. And um, this is really great to know if something didn't work or didn't go through, then you're able to kind of figure out what went wrong and to correct it. And so once you've done that, it's a simple process. Um, you should see your detail page, your inventory underneath manage inventory. You should see the changes reflect within 24 hours. If not, you're gonna go ahead and file a ticket and request that Amazon um, uploads it and reflects the changes that were made. And if you have any questions with this or need help, feel free to come to myamazonguy.com, book a coaching call with us, and we're here to help you um, grow your sales on Amazon.